Yeah, good afternoon, everybody. It's a pleasure for me uh, talking with you uh, today a little bit about thin film industry. So we were asked uh, to, to, to have, have a look on uh, the sustainability uh, of uh, the industry and of the thin film industry. And this could be also sales driver into the future as it, there is a strong diffusion process into the heads of the end customers. Uh, in this regard. Um, I have structured uh, this, this short talk um, um, to give you an overview where the production clusters, um, where about the th uh, PV thin film production development, and then uh, to talk a little bit about the concept of sustainability, um, and uh, then uh, to go a little bit more in detail, but not too much in detail, it's quite a complicated issue um, regarding um, life circle emissions uh, analysis. Um, where is thin film produced today? Um, we have, uh, as, as probably all of you know, uh, very strong R&D activities here uh, in Germany, um, and that's why we have in the so-called uh, solar, uh, uh, so, uh, solar Valley uh, in the mid of Germany um, uh, producers um, of different uh, thin film uh, technologies. In other European countries, uh, however, AC and tandem uh, technology is uh, the main technology. When we look at Asia, five of the thin film industry leaders are uh, from Japan, uh, Kaneka, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, Sharp, um, Sharp ramped up to a gigawatt fab recently, Sakai Fab, uh, Showa Shell, uh, they, they don't sell their products into your global markets with this brand. Um, uh, the brand they use is Solar Frontier right now and Honda. Um, in the coming years, when, when we look at the activities um, of the uh, Taiwanese um, uh, producers, we expect and we, 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 we see that uh, they are really stepping into large-scale thin film production uh, right now. Um, so uh, we, we, we expect their big ramp up uh, regarding thin film production. Um, but also in the northeast east of uh, China, uh, uh, that, that might evolve uh, another uh, production cluster. Uh, finally, when we look uh, at the US um, in the Great Lakes region with Unisolar, for example, and of course First Solar, there are two of the um, global market leaders. Unisolar goes with flexible thin films, um, and there are also a lot of R&D activities to the second uh, uh, PV uh, generation, which is thin films, but also to the third. Uh, which is um, organic uh, technologies and um, the National Renewable Energy Lab is uh, also uh, located there. Um, yeah, this, this is, this is um, quite quite full slide as I see. Um, we, 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 we are also, also analyzing um, the different thin film companies. We, fo we follow 141 companies right now and 40 in 2001 and 9 uh, started um, production AC players and another 42 announced their uh, impending uh, commencement. The announced capacities uh, of these 82 producers um, uh, add up to more than 13 uh, gigawatt. Uh, but as, as we see, um, as we have seen already, uh, the utilization is uh, not that high and all, it is also big question mark if all those uh, announcement and expansion investments um, will be realized uh, or not. So the goals, and this is for sure um, yeah, the, the, the drive of, of, of the years uh, before 2009, where it was very, very easy to get capital for, for ramp up the banks, want to participate in this, this big boom. And as you know, uh, there, there was a huge shortage of uh, silicon and uh, silicon prices went up to $400 um, uh, dollar, uh, uh, for a kilogram uh, and uh, this, this was for sure one of the major uh, innovation drivers of this uh, second PV generation of the thin films. Um, however, um, when, when we look um, at, at uh, the sales uh, last year, we, 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 we saw sales of 1.4 uh, giga thin films and 1.1 was uh, from First Solar and the rest was uh, shared by, by those other uh, 42 um, players. Um, so the, the question is when we talk about uh, scalability, uh, 
yeah, who, who will be there uh, in the next few years. And we also share the view that uh, there are a lot of new market entrants, uh, big, big companies like GE, for example, finalized their decision-making process, but also other ones, as I mentioned, Taiwan-based uh, companies who have really a long track record, track record in uh, ramping up big production lines. Um, in uh, j just just to go back a little bit, um, there, there there was a very uh, ambitious and and great mood. Um, we 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 saw this when the Spanish market exploded regarding installed capacity in 2008, and then uh, and this is it's it's really very interesting to follow this highly volatile industry. Uh, most of you will, will remember when, when you have visited Intersolar last year, there were al almost no sales in the first half of last year and then mainly driven by the German market, um, the market was uh, exploding and again and we, we expect um, just in Germany uh, newly installed capacity of uh, 5 to 6 gigawatt this year. Um, this sounds great, but when we look at uh, the um, growth rates of other international markets, and we really have to keep in mind that it's uh, <coughs> political driven by the feed-in uh, tariff schemes, um, there is also a big uh, threat. Um, regarding sustainability, my, my group uh, is, um, is positioned in the field of sustainability. Um, some, some years ago, uh, let's say before the economic uh, crisis, um, uh, everybody was was talking about uh, sustainability in an economic sense. So earn as much as possible money. This is also a way of sustain, sustain, being sustainable to, to have a sustainable company. But then more and more um, we, 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 we had uh, to analyze and to bring into uh, uh, the, the company's concept the um, uh, to, to add the environmental view and uh, also this, the social view. Um, in German-based companies um, have have a quite good clue about that. This, but, but this is of course not the same situation in in uh, all countries uh, all over uh, the world. Um, and the 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 idea here, and this is also where my group is positioned, to bring all this together and to integrate it into the the, the business roadmaps of the companies to have really a sustainable uh, production, not just uh, from the economic point of view. Um, when we talk about sustainability in the area of uh, PV, we have to understand uh, quite quite uh, complicated complicated flows. We have to uh, we have to to analyze um, in detail the whole life cycle uh, of the product. We have to analyze uh, the energy uh, that is used. Uh, for, for the mat materials that are supplied uh, to produce uh, the product. Um, we, we talk here about uh, CO2 equivalents uh, because we have to compare. Um, imagine if energy is, is uh, used from, from a coal plant to produce uh, a thin film panel or even a crystalline-based panel, it is, it is, there, is a, uh, there, there is a different value if you, if you use water energy like, like REC is, is doing, for example, in the north of Europe. So, but to, you, you see, and this is a quite simplifi simplified picture, to understand the input and the output, not just in the regard of energy, but also in the regard of uh, all materials use. Well, when, when you imagine a PV plant, um, see, to, to enlighten the plant, to secure the plant, there is also energy used. Um, and then, of course, and this is a big threat also to this industry, um, uh, we, we have to understand also uh, the end of life. First Solar was a little bit forced to analyze this very, very deeply because they have been attacked due to the use of, of uh, cadmium uh, in their products. Um, and uh, this, this is an example um, my, my colleagues put, put uh, into this slide. Uh, uh, it's, it's from, uh, to understand Uni Solar's production process, it's a flexible uh, thin film uh, product. Um, yeah, to make it short and to summarize it, um, operating PV systems do not generate any toxic um, or greenhouse gases. In common with other products, such, such gases may be emitted during the production of the materials used for solar cells and systems. 
Therefore, their potential of adverse effects must be examined in a comparative life cycle framework. And recent studies of the life cycle emissions from PV showed that cattle emits under average uh, US conditions, and this is the first solar case, about uh, 20 grams CO2 for kilowatt hour. And just to give you an, an idea, fossil fuel plant um, is 500 to uh, one kilogram.